Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Okay, uh, uh, I went to uh, the, a gun show yesterday, and it's the first time in years and years since I've been to a gun show. And boy, I learned a lot. Uh, uh, for, well, for the first, for those that uh, aren't familiar with gun shows, um, what it's uh, it's like a flea market, but they have uh, firearms, all kinds of firearms. And uh, when you go to something like that, you will realize there's a lot of different firearms. I mean, you got cowboy kind of guns, you got long distance guns, you got full auto guns. I mean, uh, you got all the supplies for, uh, uh, well, depending on the uh, gun show. Different gun shows sometimes will focus on different things. I say like cowboy, they have cowboy shoots where you, you do just like cowboys do. And uh, they've got the holsters, they've got the shotguns, the rifles, everything that they had back in those days. And um, uh, so, and they have all, all the accessories and all that stuff. And uh, they have, uh, a lot of the gun shows are for the, uh, they have, they sell military surplus. Um, they they come up with a lot of times gear that you would think uh, 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 a snowflake would be saying it's all illegal, but uh, it, it's not. And we go right back to, uh, and then the reason they say that is because you can get this gear and you will look like uh, military or police. You know, these are the wannabes that want to do like that. That's why that people focus on those types of tactics uh, because they this is what they see on TV. So, uh, but anyway, and, and it's it's a it's a hobby. It's something that's fun to do, and uh, so you find a lot of that in the in the gun show. And I forgot about that. I forgot how much fun it is to see all these people with their different interests and see that there's, the firearms are even different, you know, so, uh, and, but like I say, they got a lot of, a lot of cool stuff, I like it, uh, because it's a hands-on, uh, you can put your hands on the, all the different kinds of stuff, uh, you can try stuff on, you know, and, and all, all kinds of stuff, and, uh, uh, an example, I bought a range bag, and I, you know what? I don't even have a range bag. Why? I don't go to the range, so I don't need a range bag. Uh, but the size is about right, and I'm thinking I'm either going to use it for a tactical bag or a first aid bag. I'm still, I'm still thinking on it. But it was for ten dollars, and that's what I'm saying. You look. Sometimes you can find some really good prices. Uh, but it used to be they all were good prices. Nowadays, you see, there's, they jack up the prices, take advantage of people. It's a good place to buy ammunition. You will find people going out with cases and cases of ammunition. And so, uh, but anyway, uh, what uh, one of the things that I saw that impressed me a lot was the SKS. I've talked about the SKS. I like the SKS. Um, it's a uh, it's price right. Oh yeah, and I saw it there for uh, three hundred and fifty dollars, and it was for like the one I I got that uh, it's a uh, called a paratrooper. It's a shorter uh, uh, SKS, and uh, when I say it was three hundred and fifty, I, I was really happy. Uh, now see. I bought mine was seventy five dollars, but but still, when you can compare it to the other guns, uh, it's really cheap. Now uh, another thing that I noticed, uh, now this wasn't a big uh, gun show; it was kind of a small one. But anyway, they only had one AK dealer, or uh, 
not a dealer, because they had, a lot, they had AKs for sale, but this guy rebuilt uh, AKs. I mean, he builds them up. Uh, and I couldn't believe how expensive those things were. So uh, now I'm going to have to reevaluate my. But I tell everybody to get an AK, but I'm going to have to reevaluate that because I couldn't believe the expense. Uh, they really are, what makes the AK really good is they're inexpensive, they're rugged, they're dependable, uh, they're easy, uh, easy to maintain, easy to use, and all this stuff. Uh, but I say they're inexpensive. And then once you lose that inexpensive part, uh, that makes a big difference. You're going to have to reevaluate on the expense on those things. Because I, I had somebody tell me that he was talking about an uh, H, uh, HK91 uh, is a very good rifle. And it is, it's a, but it's a battle rifle. It's, it's, it's a little different than the uh, AK AR. And uh, well, yeah, but like I say, when you're talking $5,000, you know, and I don't spend that kind of money. Remember, I'm going to be beating people with this thing. Uh, it's going to be stepped on. It's going to be. Uh, it's going to be. A, it's going to be treated really bad, worse than a stepchild. And uh, uh, so I don't like spending a lot of money on something that's going to be abused. So uh, I'm going to have to think about it on the, on the AK, promote the AK. I'm going to have to think about that again. Uh, you need to think about it. The only drawback now I see is the expense. Uh, I still can't figure out. Uh, the, the, the cheaper one uh, was about $600, $650, and they'd go up to $1,500. I don't know where that, that price comes from. But, hey, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a gun expert. I, 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 I use them. I'm not, I don't uh, market them. Okay, and another thing that I learned, I learned why people like the AR. Uh, for one thing, it's getting down, well, the AKs jump the price up to, it's about the same price as the AR. And uh, the thing that I thought was cool was, you know, you, you, know, you, you can get different uppers. For them. Uh, the AR is two-piece, you have the lower and the upper. And the upper, you change it, and you can make your rifle a whole complete different rifle, and you know, all this kind of stuff. And so, uh, uh, I, I, there was a lot, a lot of manufacturers of ARs. Now, uh, the last time that I was really in the AR, when I was buying ARs, this has probably been about 15 years ago, I guess, 15, 15 maybe, no, not 20, probably about 15 years ago. And uh, at that time, Colt and uh, Bushmaster were the best. And maybe there was two or three other manufacturers. Now, there's a ton of manufacturers. And uh, one thing about a firearm, they're only as good as the name. And you get a name, a respected name like Bushmaster or Colt, through time and abuse. This is where they, you know, as they use them, then you, they get better. I mean, uh, they, well, they improve their product as time goes on. And uh, like I say, they're used, they're known for good products. Okay, now, there's a lot of ARs. So, remember I, I was bitching about ARs before? I'm bitching about them worse now. Uh, because uh, you definitely got to do your homework on an AR. Uh, because, uh, uh, like I say, every AR I've had malfunctioned. And, uh, and like I say, they were, uh, oh, yeah, well, one was uh, off brand. Remember, I told you there was only two, Colt and Bushmaster. And I had one that was, wasn't one of those. And then I had a Colt. And I guess I had a Bushmaster. So, uh, but like I say, uh, the, the, the quality is really a big thing. 
And like I say, I, I don't want to get into the thing about bitching about the ARs again, but like I say, uh, I understand why, because they can get all kinds of cool toys with it. I mean, to uh, rebuild it and, and update it and stuff like that. I'm not into that stuff. That's another reason people misunderstand. I'm, I am into using uh, the AR, the AK, in combat. Not going to the range and not showing your friends and not just walking around thinking you're cool with a, with a, a cool weapon. As you saw, you saw some, some of mine. I mean, they're not, they don't look cool at all. That's not the idea. And that's the ones you can see. It doesn't even count the ones you don't see. Uh, because like I say, they're not for looks. They are a tool for action. And, uh, but like I say, so, uh, and, and if you're rich, and you got money, and you want to rebuild these things, well, then good, go right ahead. I don't spend that kind of money. The money that they would use to rebuild these things, I would buy another weapon. Uh, you know what I mean? Or more ammo, or food, or learn things, learn skills. You know what I mean? So, but I'm not as rich as everybody else, I guess. But you got a, an AR is a rich man's gun. Uh, because like I say, because you when you get it, you need to modify it this, you need to modify it that, you need to change it to all the different kinds of things before you get it to do what you want it to do. And then the first time you beat somebody with it, boom, it's gone. But like I say, I understand more now about uh, it's becoming a style, kind of like an iPhone kind of thing, you know. They don't have them for communications. You're, you're cool when you get this. I think that's what's going on with the AR. But uh, anyway, it just... It, it just helped me learn a little bit. I just wanted to share that with you. You need to go to a gun show. They've got lots of cool stuff. Just mic. Oh, and, and you can ask questions. I'm not saying that they know what they're talking about, but there's a lot of people, not only dealers, but uh, people that are there. Uh, you know, they know, there's a lot of people that know things. And then again, um, I say you can buy guns from individuals. Individuals will carry their gun to the gun show to sell it. And they'll walk around with it, you'll see the gun, and just ask them if it's for sale. And, uh, but that's that's what you do. That's a good way to buy guns also. So you don't have to go through all the paperwork. But anyway, this is Mike, nostressmike.com.